Hello, my name is Nicolas Elefteriadis. I am a co-author of the article entitled Training in Peroral Endoscopic Myotomy Poem for Esophageal Achalasia. This article has been conducted by Digestive Disease Center of Shofa University, Northern Yokohama Hospital, Japan. Achalasia, a Greek term that means does not relax, is the most common primary motility esophageal disorder which can affect men and women equally and may occur in any age from children to octogenarian. Although rare, it is a chronic benign disease with symptoms that may progress gradually for years before exact diagnosis can be made. Etiology remains largely unknown and therapy is difficult. Treatment mainly focused on forced relaxation of lower esophageal sphincter LES by endoscopic or surgical means. Endoscopic botulinum toxin injection in the LES and endoscopic pneumatic balloon dilatation are the first line of treatments. However, with temporary results, frequent recurrences necessitated multiple treatments. Surgical myotomy has been first developed by Heller in 1913 in order to provide an otherwise final solution for esophageal achalasia. However, laparoscopic or surgical myotomy is related to high risk of complications, particularly severe gastroesophageal reflux disease, GER disease, in more than 30% of cases and failures in 10 to 15%. Surgical myotomy should be accompanied by additional anti-reflux procedure such as Dorfan duplication, while it is not indicated for atypical cases or mixed esophageal motility disorders. Peroral endoscopic myotomy is a novel revolutionized technique that has been developed in the context of natural orifice transluminal endoscopic surgery, NOTES, as an incisional minimal invasive endoscopic treatment for esophageal achalasia. In contrast to surgical myotomy where full thickness myotomy is performed through abdominal approach in POEM, selective circular myotomy under direct endoscopic visual control is achieved by endoscopic submucosal technique. The first clinical case of peroral endoscopic myotomy has been performed by the authors of this article, Professor Inoue, in September 8, 2008, in the Digestive Disease Center of Shoko University, Northern Yokohama Hospital, Japan. Since then, more than 200 consecutive patients with severe symptomatic achalasia have been successfully treated by POEM in the same center with no major complications no recurrences, no additional treatment necessary and excellent short and long-term results. Not only classical achalasia, but also patients with vigorous achalasia, diffuse esophageal spasm, sigmoid type achalasia, previous failure after Heller myotomy have been successfully treated by POEM in Sova University in Digestive Disease Center. International experience is also increasing with promising results. However, POEM is a technically demanding procedure and could be related to potential life-threatening complications such as mediastinitis, hemorrhage or perforation. As the present POEM is performed only into clinical studies from skilled endoscopists in specialized centers, many ethical issues have been also emerged. Who will perform POEM? Endoscopists, surgeons or both? In this article, the historical perspectives, innovations that made POEM possible, pre- and post-operation evaluation, and technical aspects of the same POEM procedure are in detail described. Particularly, innovations such as carbon dioxide insufflation urine procedure in order to prevent severe pneumomediastinum or pneumoperitoneum are in detail presented here. Furthermore, a non-survival organ porcine model for training in POEM have been also proposed and described 
and the training process has been also proposed according to our initial excellent results and international experience with promising results we consider POEM as a safe and effective method of treatment for esophageal achalasia and other esophageal motility disorders aiming to become the gold standard. However, further studies and experience are necessary and weighted. Thank you very much for your attendance.